Hello, everyone. This is Doug Davis, broker in charge at Karambi Realty, and here with another session of Ask Doug. And today, um, I'm going to talk about VA assumptions, hot topic there. But um, they can be a really good deal if you can find them and you can actually pull it off. And it's not easy, but here's the benefit. If there is a seller, uh, military, has a VA loan, say it's at 2.83% interest versus, you know, 6 to 7% these days, that's a huge amount of, of money uh, that would make or break being able to buy it um, to, to live there. So if you can do an assumption, uh, then uh, you'd really you'd really benefit. Okay. However, the difficulties are is that there is no loan officer that will help you, and you do need to find a lender that has a, a um, an assumption department. So there's few and far between. So it's going to be hard to get set up on that. Now they are not making any money on that. It's just time away from doing new business. So they get their hourly rate. So it's not like a, a mortgage broker that's hustling for you. Uh, so you may have that as a, an issue. And then you have to, uh, you do need to get qualified. And, but there's another kicker and that's the, uh, sale price, sale price, and what the property appraised for when it was purchased by the seller. So it may be way off. And they're not going to do a new appraisal. You're using the same data and stepping in their shoes. Um, the um, You step in their shoes, you can't get a new appraisal on it because that will... Uh, cause the loan to not be assumable and you'll have to go and get a new loan. So if the loan, if the appraisal is different, it will hopefully normally be, uh, the sale price would be more, usually at this point, after all these years of appreciation, uh, the buyer will have to come in with cash, so cash to assumption of the loan. Now, VA buyers usually don't have a lot of um, extra cash. Um, but then again, you don't have to be a VA um, buyer to assume these, as assuming that the seller will allow uh, you to assume the loan. They have to leave their their um, qualification. They can't go out and get another loan uh, while you have their loan still going. So they have to wait for you to pay that off. But there may be some people that are willing to do that. Uh, expect maybe two months plus to process this. Uh, be prepared to have many extensions. Uh, be prepared for the seller's agent to do the lion's share of the work. Even though you would be a buyer, assuming it, your buyer's agent probably won't have info with which to help the assumption department uh, get data from the seller. Seller wouldn't necessarily want to give the buyer's agent information like their social security number and their private bank details, all that sort of thing. They'd be more apt to share that with the with their um, selling agent. So therefore, most of this work would fall on the seller's agent, but that's a way for the seller's agent to make a sale, um, providing all of this falls into place. Well, anyway, you need to discuss this with a loan person that's familiar with uh, VA loans, has done VA loans, and not everyone can, not everyone's had experience, even the loan officers with VA assumptions. Um, we haven't had to do that for 
over a decade. So uh, maybe you find some old uh, some old guy <laughs> that's done them in in the historical past that would have some some knowledge on how to do them in the present. Um, okay, so just a tad on that, but uh, benefit would be huge if you can assume a, a very low interest rate loan. So there you go. If you're liking my videos, uh, love to have you like the, uh, the YouTube. And uh, if you have any real estate needs, buying, selling, or property management needs, uh, love to uh, hear from you and any questions that you may have for real estate for me. Okay, until next week. Thanks so much.